So today we're standing out in front of Davie Police Department and a little birdie came down on my shoulder, whispered in my ear that we are gonna get a very first look. Nobody else has seen this. So they said for the Nod Squad, a very first look at a special car that they have designed and they're ready to roll out for the month of May. I just wanna take a second and let you guys know what's coming at the end of the video. We're gonna be doing a challenge coin giveaway. So stay tuned for that and how you're gonna win it. And we're bringing back the secret unlockable footage. And it's already going to be shot. It's going to be ready to roll out. It's just up to you guys to like this video and hit that certain amount of likes so we can unlock that secret, awesome, amazing, tubular footage. I don't know. Just unlock it. Trust me. You're not going to regret it. And finally, you'll find out how to become a police officer here at the Davie Police Department. So some pretty awesome stuff, so stick around for that. So I believe I see the sergeant coming now. What's up, Nick? What's up, my brother? How's everything? How's it going? Good to meet you. Can you introduce yourself yeah. to the Nod Squad? Sure. Hey, Nod Squad. My name is Mark Leone. I'm a sergeant with the Davie Police Department. I handle the PIO, social media, public relations, things like that. We got something special for you guys today. Before you get into it, I'm noticing the uniform. I'm really liking the denim. Loving it. It's, it's, a, it's a Dockers look. But uh, is this your typical uniform? Well, because I have the luxury of working inside the building, I get to dress down a little bit, not wear a police uniform anymore while I'm in my current assignment, but who knows what the future holds for me. All right. And if you don't mind me asking, I noticed right here, you're rocking the penny loafers. Of course. You like the pennies in them? I like the pennies. Well, they're, they're, called, the name. they're called penny loafers for a reason. Uh -huh. All right. Well, there you go. And you're, you're wearing them with style. Thank you. All right. Now that I've added my two cents. Eh? You I like, get it. You like that one? I huh? get it. All right. You want to uh, take us to where the car is at and talk a little bit about the department? Yeah, sure. I got something really special to show you. All right. So on our way over there, what? tell us a little bit about your agency. Well, David Police Department, located in central Broward County. We're just west of the city of Fort Lauderdale. We've got about 200 police officers and about 70 civilian employees. We provide police services for the town of Davie as well as the town of Southwest Ranches. So we're actually covering two cities. Now I know this episode is gonna be dedicated to this car specifically, and we have some unlocked footage that we're gonna be showing Yep. Um, if they unlock it. Well, we'll get there. That's the name of the game. Um, but what about, I know, because I've seen you guys got all kinds of units and all kinds of vehicles back there. Can we do a follow-up? Absolutely. That's right. Right up front, I got to get them to commit. There it is. Absolutely. All right, so vehicle? Yeah, let's take a look at it. Here it is. So, I know that there's a backstory behind that vehicle. First of all, sweet job. Whoever designed it, awesome stuff. Um, but I know there's a backstory. You want to give a rundown and explain a little bit as to how this came about? Yeah, sure. Every year we decide to have uh, you know vehicle wrap, and we've done a bunch of them throughout the years. Uh, there was one year that we did uh, vehicle wrap for Law Enforcement Memorial, and we actually won a contest, nationwide contest in uh, Law Enforcement Magazine. We decided, let's, uh, let's do another one. And this is it. We got a 2014 Dodge Charger, one of our patrol vehicles. We put this sweet little wrap on it. As you can see, we've got the uh, law enforcement officer memorial honoring fallen heroes. We've got the thin blue line flag. We've got the officer saluting to his brothers and sisters. And then we've got our, uh, you know, custom URL, DavyPDJobs.com. We are hiring. Hiring? Yep. What? So all the future officers that are in the Nod Squad, www.DavyPDJobs.com. Go visit them. And you guys hiring right now? 
iron, certified and non-certified. Oh, so there you go. You can put your app in right now, right as we speak. Watch the whole video first, right? Yeah, watch the video first. And then, and then go put the app in. Then put the app okay, in. Okay, that's good. As you can see, the decal we have on the back here is the National Law Enforcement Officer Memorial Foundation. And that represents all the officers that gave their lives. In 2018, nationally, we lost 163 police officers. Over the last five years, 870. And in the last 10 years, 1,656 police officers lost their lives while serving their communities. And this is just our way of recognizing the sacrifices that those officers have made. Over here, we've got the, uh, you know, your standard law enforcement blue, baby police. Make sure everybody recognizes this as a uh, baby police car. And on the other side, it's just a mirror image decal of the other side. Okay. Moving our way to the front, we've got the hood. Really sharp decal on that. As you can see, we've got the thin blue line flag, and we've got our Davy Police Memorial Badge. We break that badge out for the month of May or a line of duty death. So can we take a look at the inside? Yeah, absolutely, why not? All right. Before we do that, I want to take you somewhere else. I'm going to take you over to the Pine Island Park with the Police Memorial. Really cool. Ah, that's where the uh, intro was shot? Yeah, exactly. All right, let's go. So Mark, where'd you take me? Well, I took you to the Town of Davie Police and Fire Memorial here at the Pine Island Park. Tell us a little bit about this area. What do you guys, is this where you guys hold all your services, your memorial services and stuff? Yeah, once a year the Davie Police Department puts on a memorial to remember our fallen brothers and sisters for the Police Department and the Fire Department. As you can see, we've got everyone's name here on the board and you know, it's just a remembrance of them. We invite their families out, honor guard, we do the colors and uh, it's a really nice event. All right, so I wanted to bring you here, check out the memorial. You know, we did film our opening scene here, uh, but let's check the inside of the car out. Let's go. Well, this is the Dodge Charger. As you can see, even though it doesn't have overhead lights on the outside, it's a pretty standard police car on the inside. So we've got uh, a lot of things that a normal police car would have. You've got your light box to turn your lights and sirens on, uh, you know, police radio so you can communicate with dispatch, an in-car printer for our you know, citations. They're uh, all digital now, done with a printer. No more handwritten tickets. Uh, you know, standard laptop and a power inverter to keep that laptop running. This car was previously assigned to, uh, to a lieutenant Therefore, uh, you know, it's just a standard interior. Right now we use it for promotions and other wraps that you've seen, uh, you know, throughout the years. We've done uh, the breast cancer wrap, uh, domestic violence. We did our 90th year police anniversary, police department uh, wrap for this car. We use it for recruiting also, you know, hiring. And uh, to, to keep running it down, you said standard on the inside. You got your spotlight over there in the corner. Yeah. Uh, police spotlight, you know, just some standard stuff here. Nothing special about it. Dome light. Interior goes to uh, white, off, and red. Red is to keep your night vision in case it's uh, midnight shift. You got to do some reports. You don't want to, you know, make yourself blinded by, uh, you know, too much bright light in there. Yeah. So that's uh, that's what that's for. As you can see, there was uh, there's two mics in here. You got your uh, Motorola mic. This one is for talking to dispatch on the police radio, and then you got over here the PA mic. This one's for your loudspeaker. Uh, you know, when you got to tell somebody to pull over. The do you take traffic stops in this vehicle? As you can see, the way I'm dressed, I work on the desk. I don't take traffic stops okay. anywhere. But yeah, this police vehicle is a, you know, it's a police car. They can stop cars and it's just like any other car. All right. All right, so you got the light box. Light box right. Can we see the lights? Absolutely, we can see the lights. But not here. It's, uh, it's a little too bright. I got a place for you. You got a place? I know where to go. Let's go. So 
So I noticed when we were coming to the park and leaving that you guys had these like speed sign things up. What are they called? Speed trailer. Ah, it's the speed trailer, that's right. Um, what do you think we run that down as some secret footage, huh? Yeah, let me make a few calls. I'll get some motor guys to come over and we'll, uh, we'll talk about it. Right now? Right now. All right. All right, guys. So here's how it's going to work. Two motormen uh, and a speed, what did it say it again? Trailer? Speed trailer. There it is. Two motormen and a speed trailer for how many likes? Uh, let's say 4,000. 4,000 likes. There that you go. That should be easy for you to do. Four th they're the Nod Squad. They're really good at this. I, I trust them. They unlock it like this. I a couple them. hours. Boom, 4,000. Ready? All right, guys, 4,000 likes, and we get the speed trailers, and we get the motorman. A lot of you guys have been asking for motorman motorcycles. You get two of them. Let's do it. This is gonna be quick. They're good. They're really, really good. All right, guys, let's continue. like to get in the comments about this car and these lights that I'm missing along the bottom here. Just noticed that we got this car all decaled up, put the wrap on it, notice that, put a work order in immediately. I'm gonna get that taken care of next week, without a doubt. Yeah. We're here at Station 65, Davy Fire Rescue. They were kind enough to give us a few minutes of using their bay so we can showcase lights in this Dodge Charger here. As you can see, this Dodge Charger is completely decked out. Strobes, LED lights all over the place. We got lights in the fog lamps, Got lights on both sides of the push bumper, in the front on the side, lights in the front windshield, lights along the bottom, the back deck lid. This thing is completely covered in lights. Definitely see this guy coming from a mile away. That's a safety feature. We wanna make sure we're well lit when we're out on the road there. All right, so this car is what we call a slick top. That means the top has no lights on it. As you see, no light bar outside of this car. All the lights inside the windows, all around the frame and body. Lights all across the back deck lid, blue and reds, flashing, and I got lights all across the trunk. As you can see, this thing is well lit. So guys, I did do a sirens uh, showcase in one of the episodes. I uh, didn't do it last episode. You guys requested it, so we're gonna do it again. Uh, Mark's gonna show us a little bit about the box and how it works, and then we're gonna show you guys the sirens. All right, right here we got your siren box. This is where we control all the lights and sirens for the car. Toggle switch, very simple to use. All the way over is off. Put it in the first position, that puts the lights on in the back, across the deck. Number two position, that puts lights all around, front and back. And number three position, that's the sirens. What do you say, you wanna go for it? Yeah, they love the sirens. All right, all right I'm gonna set the camera up. So I probably should have put a warning before that if you guys have a baby sleeping at the house or you're watching this on loudspeakers, turn the volume down a little bit. Unfortunately, I forgot to do that, so my bad. Sarge, our bad. I appreciate the tour, hanging out, showing us this awesome car that has an awesome meaning and, and value to the department and stands for something, you know, I can't say anything else, but awesome. Great, thanks for joining us. All right, um, so this is where we wrap it up. Did you bring the challenge coins? Bam! This is our Davy Police Department challenge coin. These are very special and not everybody gets one. So on one side we've got the Davy Police custom badge. And then on the other side we've got the Davy Police patch, which is our current patch at the top and the patches from our history all around it. Awesome. All right guys, so this is how you're gonna win a coin similar to the other challenge coin giveaways. Uh, you're gonna have to follow a couple steps. No fear, if I'm talking too fast, I'm gonna put it all in the description below. Step one, step two, step three, step four, step five. It's all gonna be there, including the links to make it easy for you guys. So, here's what you're gonna have to do. Step one, you're gonna have to subscribe to this channel, Nick Off Duty, you're here, just click that little button. I think it's on this side. Uh, step two, while you're on YouTube, head over to Davy Police Department. Yep, YouTube channel, The Davy Police Department. The Davy Police Department. Search them on YouTube, subscribe to the channel. Matter of fact, just click the link. I linked their channel below. Okay, once you subscribe, you're gonna have to go over to Instagram 
go to Davie Police Department at Davie Police. Click follow on them. Follow me on Instagram, link down below, Nick Off Duty. And once the trailer is posted to the Davie Police Department's account, comment done in the comment section. That's done, D-O-N-E, in the comment section, and you are now eligible to win the challenge points. I linked it, I linked it. It's all down there. Do it. All right. So with that being said, guys, I'm gonna ask you, uh, they got all kinds of units, uh, SWAT teams, dive teams, uh, K-9, what else? Crisis response, honor guard, field force, we've got them all. So if you guys want another vlog, uh, I'm gonna let you pick. Put it down in the comment section of what you think that we should cover next time we hang out with Mark here at the Davy Police Department. Or we could even do that big thing that's in the background. Look at that thing. Yeah. Yeah, Mobile Command Center. Oh yeah. And lastly, before we sign off, guys, again, DavyPDJobs.com. Yep. DavyPDJobs.com if you guys are interested in joining uh, law enforcement. They are a very, very uh, respectable agency, a well-known agency, and uh, as you can see, they got a lot of toys. Yeah, that's always a good thing. Yeah. You know the sign off? Of course I do. I'll see you when I see you. And if I don't see you, then I'll see you. My man! That was good. Nice one, represent!